It's, uh, well, it's Shredder. Remember me? Uh, I know it's been a while, but I saw you on TV, and I was just hoping we could get together. I'd love to catch up, so, uh, uh call me back. Oh, my God. Shredder? He sounds like a ski instructor with a full beard who plays average guitar and never texts me back. He's a dog I used to run with back when I was living on the street. I haven't heard from him in years. I'm actually surprised he's still alive. He just drank all the time and tried to get laid. Why do you want to meet in the park? We used to live here. I'm assuming he still does. Brian! Ha! So good to see ya! What? Shredder? Is it really you? It's really me. I, I, I don't... What is all this? <laughs> yeah, sorry about meeting in the park. It's the only place I can land this thing. Shredder, I, I can't get my head around all this. It took me a while, too, believe me. And I go by George Townsend now. Oh, well, okay, George. George Townsend. You want me to say both? I do. You know how Beyonce does the one-name thing? I do a two-name thing. It's one more than Beyonce. Why don't you take her name out of your filthy whole mouth? Wow. How'd you get all this? I worked my ass off. I'm a tech entrepreneur. I've written 11 best-selling books. And I was the NBC executive who suggested we assault the nation with Chicago-themed programming. So, Brian, do you want to know how I did all this? I really do. I got neutered. But why? Getting neutered eliminated all distractions and allowed me to focus solely on my work. Sometimes, you have to literally cut out the things that hold you back. Man, with no distractions, I could just spend all day in here reading. I love that book Charles Dickens by David Copperfield. Writing was his real magic. Brian, walk with me. I was thinking about what you said the other day, and... I think you might be right. About what? I've always believed I was destined for a life like yours, but something was holding me back, and now I realize it was two things. My balls are the things. No, I got it. George Townsend, I want to get neutered. I haven't been totally honest with you. I was never neutered. But you're about to be. Why are you doing this? What did I do to you that was so bad? You abandoned me. You promised we'd be there for each other forever. And the minute Peter Griffin came along, you just got in his car and left me. I was going to come back and get you, and, and then and then Trump happened, and, and all that. Liar! I've wanted to cut your balls off for years, but the fact that you're choosing to do it yourself is so much more satisfying. But I'm not choosing to do it myself. I love my balls. They smell awful. <gasps> I'm sorry, okay? Yes, I abandoned you, and I didn't go back to find you. I'm a bad friend, I admit it. But did you ever think that you should be thanking me? Thanking you? For what? For everything you have. Your hatred for me is what motivated you your whole life. Without me, none of this would have been possible. I made you. You've already got one of my balls. Isn't that enough? You know what, Brian? It is enough. You'll probably keep it in a trophy case or something. Oh, no. I ate it already. Dogs are gross. 